As I mentioned, for today's class, you are assigned to read Disciplinary Rules 7-101 and 7-102 of the Tennessee Code of Professional Responsibility. That follows our earlier discussion of the material uh, dealing with Canon 7 and the ethical considerations under Canon 7, and also the ALI's restatement of the law governing lawyers. Under the code, it uh, uh, provides that uh, an attorney must, with reasonable diligence and promptness, uh, vindicate and uh, represent his or her client to the maximum extent, but within the bounds of the law. The real question, ladies and gentlemen, is how far can or should an attorney go in representing his or her clients? Are you getting this, Baylor? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, let's take a look now at 7-101. That provision requires a lawyer to diligently and promptly represent his client, but also note in particular Part subpart 4A. Are you following this? Okay, that provision requires that an attorney cooperate with the opposing counsel by, among other things, avoiding offensive tactics or by requiring that the attorney at all times work with the other attorney with courtesy and consideration. Ladies and gentlemen, the real question for you concerns the extent to which lawyers may go. How far can they go? How far should they be able to go in representing the best interest of their clients? Let's take a look now for a moment at 7-101.